Good morning all. It is a gorgeous day out on yet another bagel Sunday. I'm gonna talk about one thing in particular that makes me extra happy this morning. Every Sunday morning, I weigh myself. It's just something that I've, that I've done. The reason that I do it is because I have a fluctuating weight issue where I go up and down and up and down and up and down. There was a point where I had gotten like huge for me. I was over 200 pounds. Now keep in mind that I measure myself, I hold myself up to the, to the sort of almost impossible standard of when I was a deep sea diver for the Navy, when I was like an Iron Man and I had like three to six percent body fat at all times where I could run 13 miles a day and ride 50 miles on my bike and and, and just swim and, and just do all this stuff. That's all I did. It's, you know, like it was my job to be in superhuman condition. At that point, I was 147 pounds. I was very thin and, and in unbelievable condition. Okay, now that was a long time ago. So now, then I'm, I'm, you know, over a half a century old, I pretty much have started to exponentially feel my age from 40 on. I have always said from 40 years on every year, things get exponentially more difficult. It's tougher to, to get going, it's tougher to keep going, and it's definitely tougher to recover from having gone. And weight, I never thought I'd have an issue with, but I did. So I ballooned up to over 200 pounds. I mean, that's an over 50 pound weight gain. For me, that was just like, oh my God. And it happened over time so that it wasn't like, okay, I was 147 pounds one day, and the next day I was a fat ass 200 and almost 10 pound blob but eventually I was a 210 pound blob and I didn't like it when I finally f opened my eyes and I saw it. So I immediately, you know, like went hardcore into it. And at the time I lost like 30 pounds and I had a realistic goal and an unrealistic goal of a weight that I wanted to attain. I never even thought that I'd hit the realistic one, to be perfectly honest. So when I hit that, I thought to myself, and not only did I hit it, but I went a little bit below it. I thought, oh my God, this unrealistic goal actually could be attainable. So that motivated me. And I did, you know, this, that, and the other thing. Then we had the pandemic shutdown. Okay, not an excuse. What pandemic shutdown taught me was that even though I was getting healthier, I still had unhealthy habits. One of those was that I didn't eat when I should have. And all of a sudden now, instead of being on the road and eating shit and gorge eating like one meal, and holding my pee in and not going to the bathroom and not drinking any water just wasn't good for me. And then all of a sudden I'm at home and I can have three meals a day and I can get up and I can walk around and I can drink as much water as I need to because I'm in my house. I could just have to walk to the bathroom. So I did that and started to realize that, oh, okay, three meals a day. Well, then three meals a day became three meals a day and a lot of shit in between. And then it became three shit meals a day with a lot of shit in between. And pretty soon I, I gained a lot of weight again. I have traded in the past, we'll just go for a year. In the past year, I have traded like one or two pounds back and forth. Sometimes I've gone up and then sometimes I drop like 0.4 pounds and then I go back up or then I stay it for three weeks and then I go back down. So I have hovered at 188 pounds for the last year. And I kept telling myself, oh, you know, I'm not eating that bad and everything. But yeah, I didn't eat well. I ate shit too much. Then getting back on the road sort of like put it back into me and I used it as an excuse to like gorge eat again and not stop and go to the bathroom and everything. I thought, okay, that's it. Like I'm going in 110%. So as of Monday morning, I started on a very strict, we'll say a keto diet. I cut out all sugar. I cut out all carbs, no more bread, no more potato chips, you know, no more baked potatoes with all the crap loaded onto it, none of that stuff. So I started eating again, as my wife likes to joke with me, you know, so having a plate of vegetables again, but then I started getting, you know, good beef, good chicken, and you know, I've got tuna already. 
So I started eating like strictly keto diet with no sugar, no carbs, all that stuff, drinking a shit ton of water and everything and continuing on with my normal like sort of exercise routine of walking around pleasure house point blah 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 there are some things that have been tough to to replace like I, for, at least for the first month i'm not having any honey because i usually eat a lot of, well i don't eat i put raw honey in my tea at night in my like herbal tea at night so it isn't that bad but i wanted to go straight keto this first month so i did all this shit for this week and i'm not kidding you within two days not even two days like by the next day by tuesday i already felt different different better then tuesday i was on the road so i went for my dinner that night and i had a steak with asparagus and a salad that only that i had them eliminate all the croutons and the cheese and everything so it was basically just greens tomatoes stuff like that and oil and vinegar and i put some salt and pepper in it that proved to me that it could be done the next day, I had breakfast at a Bob Evans, of all places, and I was able to order stuff that didn't have a bunch of shit in it. And it was tasty, and I felt full, and I also stopped. Like, every dealership I went to, and I never do this, every dealership I went into, I went to the bathroom. I stopped at rest stops and went to the bathroom. I didn't hold anything in until I thought I was going to wet myself. And everything, I felt so much better. And I went to Pleasure House Point, and I walked around, and I felt fine. I didn't feel like, oh man, that was tough. And then yesterday, Dumb Monkey went to the freaking state park for the first time with my friend Josh, and we did six and a half miles. And I, I was like, dude, if I stop walking, I'm not gonna be able to get back up. And he's like, yeah, we gotta go on old man momentum and just keep going. And we, we you know, we went through and everything, and then we sat down in the, in the, in the forerunner, we're like, oh, oh my God, I feel so good. And I thought, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do anything the rest of the day. Well, I went home, I sat down for a little bit, then I made myself a big salad with, with some beef in it and everything, and I drank a bunch of water, and then I got up and I went out and I ran a bunch of errands and did some shopping and bought some clothes. I felt, fan well, I didn't feel fantastic, but I didn't feel as awful as I thought I would. And last night, I didn't feel as awful as I thought I would. And this morning, I feel fine. But I'm extra super better than fine. I'm thrilled because in one week, one week, I lost five pounds. I've been trading that two pounds back and forth for over a year. And in one week of getting my shit together and eating right and continuing to exercise and doing everything that I need to be doing for someone my age, or for someone any age, but definitely someone my age, I've already lost five pounds. How the hell is that not motivation? I am totally stoked. Now, I'm going in here to get a, get us bagels, Sunday morning bagels, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, you're getting bagels with you know, all that cheese on it and, uh, and you know the bagel? I'm not eating the bagel, she gets the bagel. And, I'm, uh, and I ordered it in a way that it put a bunch of extra stuff on it that's good for me and doesn't have anything that's not good for me. So, see, I can still do what I need to do and go into what I call my Spartan regimen and not force that on other people. Because I told my wife, I'm not forcing you to eat all the stuff that I do and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't do that. But a lot of what I can eat, you can eat as well. Yeah, hell yeah. I was thrilled when I got on that scale this morning and saw that I, that I dropped five pounds in that week. It's only gonna get better from here on in. Now I need to go get my damn bagels. So I just wanted to tell you that story. Bagels have been gotten. That's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.